I'll give a little update here on my geo bin compost bins. This bin here, it's filled with donkey manure and leaves. This one has donkey manure leaves and cactus pads that have been chopped about once. And this bin has donkey manure leaves and cactus pads that haven't been chopped, but they have um, sustained a, an injury to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these today. These two bins here have been maintaining a temperature of about 120 lately. This one's dropped to about 90 or so Fahrenheit. So I think it's definitely time to turn this one. These two I could probably leave, but I might as well do all three. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, clear out that spot right there, take the geo bin off of this pile, move it over there to where it's empty, and then shift it into that empty bin. And then I'll repeat the process for this one, and then this one, and then this spot I'll have a bare spot afterwards. This is the tub that I used to uh, soak the leaves in before I put them in the compost bin. You can see at the bottom of this, there's tons of rocks, there's some trash in there. Um, the water in here is from the snow that we received recently and the rain. Um, but oh, It's frozen right now, I was going to grab that. But uh, there's a lot of mud in there, uh, so I think it was pretty good to clean those leaves before putting them in the compost. Otherwise, I'd have all this trash in there as well. All right, I've got this spot cleared. I'm going to see how easy it is to pull this geo bin away from this compost. So unlock these little keys. Pull those out. It's a little easier to take those keys off when I put the camera down. So it's all loose there. You can see the piles pretty much staying put. So this should be pretty easy to take that off. So these bins are three foot tall and you can see here that the level of the compost pile has dropped significantly since I had it filled to about here a couple of weeks ago. I've got the bin currently at four feet wide, but this is um, adjustable. So I think for this bin here and the others, I'm going to shrink the uh, diameter so that I can fill it up higher. I'd really like it to be maintained at three feet high and three feet wide. I'm gonna get that adjusted so I can fill this all the way up again. I just went ahead and adjusted this a little bit. Instead of putting it in that hole, I put it in this hole. I know once I uh, start forking this over in here, it's gonna get fluffed up a little bit and I didn't wanna run into a situation where I had leftover materials that wouldn't fit in here. So now I've gotta move the compost let me see what it looks like from the side view. Manure, leaves, manure, leaves, manure, leaves, all the way up. All right, I got that pile moved over. Um, you can see it's about, I don't know, eight, 10 inches above the uh, bin level line here, but I think it'll uh, compact down again to where it's probably below the surface. I think it was the right move to only adjust it from one notch over instead of two. Otherwise, I don't think it would have all fit in there. Next, I'll work on moving this bin over here and then uh, moving the compost. And this one has cactus pads in it, so I'm a little curious to see if there's been any kind of uh, decomposition that's happened with those pads. I'm starting to get down into the cactus layer. And uh, you can see here, cactus pad is already getting rotten. That's with me slicing it. See the needles here. Still a little stiff. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but it's definitely uh, decomposing nicely. The second bin is filled up. I'm now on the third one. You see here, this is a hole pad for the most part. I did make two cuts here and it is starting to rot around those cuts. Um, here on the outer edges where there is no wound you can see it's still uh, pretty whole there but 
given more time that rot will continue until the pad is consumed I think. So I think this is a pretty good indicator that you don't have to chop up cactus pads completely. Um, it will speed up the process of them breaking down but it isn't necessary. You definitely need at least one wound I think to allow those decomposers to um, do their thing and consume the, the pad. Otherwise they can't get through the thick skin here very easily. Uh, but once they're inside, then uh, they don't have any problems, it looks like. Got all those moved. You can see the bare spot where I had this one originally right there. Um, I'll just continue to shuffle these around as the temperatures drop um, within the pile. And uh, eventually I should get some nice looking compost. Looking closer at this, you can still make out a lot of the materials, you know, that obviously a leaf and uh, whatever that is and the manure there not broken down yet it's only been I think 12 days since I started this I moved the thermometer over here this was at 120 or so this morning it's now at uh, 71 so I think this time tomorrow I'll see it at a much higher temperature I didn't add any water to this. I probably will soak in the top here. I'll continue to log the temperatures for each pile in the uh, description of the video. I'll try to do another video later on once this has broken down a bit further. I'm really liking these geo bins. It made it really simple to move the piles. Uh, I like the adjustable feature. I like how light it is. It does save a lot of space as well. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for improving this. Thanks for watching.